In this video, we're going to use QuickBooks Online to receive a customer deposit, track that deposit, and send them their final invoice. We're going to do this using a combination of an estimate and a pair of invoices. The first thing we need to do in QuickBooks Online is make sure we have Progress Invoicing turned on. You do this by going to the Gear Settings icon, Accounts and Settings, and Sales and scrolling down to progress invoicing. Once that's done, the first thing we can do is create a new estimate for a client of ours. And we can add whatever line items we need to. Now that we have our estimate, we can save that, or optionally save and send it to our client for their approval. For this example, we'll just assume that the estimate has been accepted. Now that we have an accepted estimate, we can either click the Create Invoice button to create our first deposit invoice from here, or if you need to come back to this later, you can find it by going to Sales, Customers, clicking Estimate, and clicking Start Invoice. Now that QuickBooks has created our invoice, we can see that some of the information has been filled in already from our client file, and the estimate we created is showing up on the right-hand side, Add to Invoice field. We click Add, and because we have Progress Invoicing turned on, we can add just a portion of the invoice. So if we want to collect a 25% deposit, we can collect 25% of each line in the invoice and copy that. It copies across exactly what we put in the invoice, noting that it's 25% of the full amount, does those calculations, and calculates the balance due. At this point, we can save and send that deposit invoice to our client. Our original estimate is still there for the full amount, and we have one open invoice for the deposit. Again, for purposes of the example, we'll receive the deposit for this. invoice has been paid and now we can fast forward go to the conclusion of the event click start invoice again add the estimate again and it'll note that it's now calculating the remaining total of all lines it's already taken off the fifteen hundred dollars that we collected as a deposit we copy that to the invoice it shows that we're now collecting the remaining amount we can save that close the invoice, send that to our client. The estimate has now disappeared as the entire estimate has been invoiced. We now have one open invoice for $4,500, one paid invoice for $1,500, and if we go to our sample client, we can see the whole history. The estimate created for $6,000, deposit invoice paid and closed, and the balance of the estimate invoiced. And that's how you can bill customers for a deposit without losing track of the original amount you quoted by using estimates and invoices.